Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate working at Microsoft. And this short video, we're going to have a look how you can manage patches and updates for your Azure virtual machines. So stay tuned. In your Azure automation account under update management, you can view the update assessment for your Azure virtual machines. Here you can find out which Azure Virtual Machines are compliant and have all the necessary updates installed and which Azure Virtual Machines are not compliant and have missing updates. You can also list all the missing updates. To find out which machines are missing these updates, you can simply click on one of the updates you're looking for and you will be taken to the query which then shows you which virtual machines are missing that specific update. To update specific virtual machines, you can schedule an update deployment. To monitor this, these update deployments and get alerts, you can configure alerts under monitoring. Here you can create a new alert rule for your automation account. You can set a specific condition where you already have predefined signal names. For that, you can, for example, say you want to get the total update deployment machine runs Here you can then configure the dimensions. You can select specific update deployment names, status, target computers, or specific IDs for update deployments. In our case, we want to get alerts for all of them. Under the alert logic, you simply set the threshold to zero and select done. The next step is to create the action group. In this case, we will send an email to the administrators of Contoso. For that, we create a new action group. Give that action group a name. Define a short name and create an action. Under action type, we can then select what action we actually want to create. In our case, we want to send an email to the administrators. For that, we open it up, select email and enter the email address of the administrator. We can now select OK and save that action group. Now we can add some additional information uh, which will show up in the specific email. Here we can then simply set an alert name and a description and create the rule. To update specific machines, we can create a new update deployment. For that, we are selecting update deployment. We give that update deployment a name. We can then select if these are Windows or Linux machines, and we can select which items we actually want to update. We can select different machine groups or just go and select specific machines. We can list the machines here and add the specific machines to this update deployment. Now we can configure the update classifications and we can say which ones we want to install 
and focus probably only on security updates if we wanted to. We can also include and exclude updates if needed and we can then schedule the update deployment for a time in the future. Here we can set the date and the time as well as the time zone. If we wanted to, we can also create a recurring update deployment which runs every week or every month. For now, we're just gonna simply create a single update deployment. In some cases, it can make sense to run pre and post scripts, but for now, we don't need that. We can also configure the length of the maintenance window, which is default set to two hours. At the end, we can configure the reboot options from reboot if required, never reboot, always reboot, only reboot if, and without installing updates. Let's create that update deployment. Now, under update deployment schedule, you will be able to see the specific update deployment we just created. After the update deployment has completed, you can find it under history. You will see that this update deployment succeeded and if we click on it, we can find some more information. We can see that our two Azure machines were updated and we installed a total of six different updates. If we go back to our update management and click on machines, we will see that our, both of our machines are now compliant and have all the latest security updates installed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.